Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, it is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here, bringing you guys another video today. Another, uh, another project that is, of course, on the Solana ecosystem, part of that blockchain. We got ourselves a soul in here, which is the autonomous interest rate machine for Solana. You can earn interest on deposits and borrow assets on the fastest, lowest fee, and most scalable lending protocol here. Total asset supply so far right now currently are at 343 million. Total assets borrowed so far, 171 million. Um, they do have a bug bounty program. Partners are Radium. Um, and then obviously if you want to learn more about how the platform um, works, check out their documentation to kind of get more inside on um, this is their team. But as far as actual dashboard, let me go ahead and connect my wallet. Um, so now that my wallet's connected, and by the way, they add their uh, token here. This is pretty new, because um, I've been using this platform about well, about a couple of days now here, um, really trying to figure out um, the best balance that kind of works for me, because uh, I, I kind of have my own strategy of what I want this platform to do for me when it comes to yield and being able to obviously borrow assets for myself as well. Um, but as far as these tokens, can't claim them right now. Apparently these Solon rewards will be claimable soon. Um, but right now, as you can see, I'm earning about 0 0.021 a day. Uh, and I'm assuming this is all based off the assets that I supply and borrow. Because as you can see, come here. Uh, supply APY. So as far as supply side, whatever I supply, I'll be earning about 22% plus whatever. Uh, so it says 19.77 annually, which is equivalent to about 0 0.05 uh, per 1,000. So um, that kind of gives you an idea of how much you can kind of look forward to as far as um, collecting those tokens. And I did notice too, um, they did bump up their deposit limits as well. Uh, I believe when I first came on here, deposit limit was like around about 100,000, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's at a million. Um, and that goes across the board with all these different tokens. So it looks like these guys are definitely um, working behind the scenes uh, to get this thing going. So for me, um, and also too, this is the borrow APY. So this is what you'll be paying interest wise uh, as far as you know the assets that you're borrowing and that just goes off varies off the time and how long it takes you to repeat repay that back but uh for me what i'm kind of doing and I'm obviously you know this is this is my strategy um i'm not suggesting you guys use it but for me i'm basically supplying uh usdc coin um, taking pretty much uh, profits from other protocols such as like Radium Orca, uh, turning that into USDC, um, supp supplying that over here, collecting that interest rate, and then borrowing um, from myself, obviously, taking some of that uh, collateral and then putting it back into uh, those liquidity pools and farms that I'm involved with on Orca and radium to basically accumulate, you know, more tokens, uh, because I know with that, I'll be able to pay this bad boy off pretty much on a monthly basis if I was to uh, harvest at the end of the month. Um, and the reason why I say that is because it's all, you know, varies on how much you have staked on those protocols, but, um, as far as the 3X and the 2X, I'm um, assuming that is all tied in to the tokens. And um, obviously the stable coins have the, the highest APY. And as you can see right now, this is my account, it shows my two positions, shows my borrow limit, shows my liquidation threshold. Obviously um, I can't get liquidated just for the fact that, you know, I am using a stable coin. Um, so obviously, if I was doing this with a cryptocurrency, the liquidation threshold, I would probably have to have some concerns with because, you know, depending on that crypto, 
Uh, if it falls, obviously, I'm pretty sure those numbers will change. Um, and obviously, it shows me it shows my borrow utilization as well. But like I said, since I am on the stablecoin side, this number right here is something I don't really got to worry about because, like I said, the value of stable coins don't change. But um, as far as this platform goes, uh, like I said, definitely want to even dive into some other uh, coins as far as especially like to say the crypto side, try to take advantage of these high APY. So I'm thinking radium um, might be, I think my next, my next target, um, like I said, just for the fact of the high APR. And I know for a fact that, you know, pretty much I would be able to supply on here. Um, and then whatever I collect on here, I can obviously go back and forth onto the other protocol. So like I said, just try and create that constant, um, flipping between platforms, whether that be a liquidity provider, whether that be a staking, DeFi, I mean, wherever it is, I'm trying to have them all collaborate with each other. So um, that's going to really wrap it up as far as this particular video goes on Solend. Uh, like I said, this is a lending protocol that is on the Solana blockchain. Um, so if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up, share with your friends. Also, too, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. And uh, until the next time, y'all, take care.